Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. So this channel, Everyday Science, is all about trying to learn the different concepts in Lorentz Science by practicing a lot of questions. In this video, I'm going to solve this question on lead code regarding rising temperature using Pandas library of Python and try to walk you through how we can develop solutions to such problems. The difficulty level of this question is easy and this question has been asked in Amazon, Google, Yahoo, Bloomberg, Adobe and Cognizant interviews. Also, if you are new to this channel, I have solved close to 200 easy, medium and hard difficulty questions using SQL. The link of the entire playlist will be in the description box below. Also, if you do not have lead code premium subscription, do not worry. I am going to share this panda schema in the description box below as well. You can copy this into something like Jupyter Notebook and try it on your own as well. Okay, let's jump right in. The question reads, we are given a table called weather with three different columns, ID, record date and temperature. ID is the column with unique values for this table. This table contains information about the temperature on a certain date. We are asked to write a solution to find all the dates ID with higher temperatures compared to its previous dates, that is yesterday. The order of the result does not matter. Let's go through this example. So here we are given four different records, right, on 1st of January 2015, 2nd, 3rd and 4th. So consecutive days and these are the temperatures. So just by looking at it, what all two days had higher temperature as compared to the previous day. So 2nd of January and 4th of January, right? So what are the IDs associated with these two dates? 2 and 4 and that should be our output. So here in this example, this record date or basically this table is sorted by record date, right? But that is not going to be case every time. So the first thing that we should do is we can go ahead and sort this table by record date in ascending order. And let's store this in a data frame called WS, which is abbreviation of weather sorted. So take the weather data frame and then do sort values right sort values by which column by the record date right record date column and even if you do not do ascending but like uh, it will do as in uh, ascending order but like just to make it explicit let's write it here X ascending is equal to true let me return this right so return ws and run this so let's see what do we have now so uh, our output so in our output so now this data frame is sorted by record date in ascending order. So now what we need to do is there are two conditions that we need to check. Let's create two different columns. Firstly, let's create the difference between the temperatures of these dates, right? So what is like 2nd January uh, temperature minus 1st uh, January temperature, 3rd January minus 2nd January and so on, right? Let's uh, name this as let's say uh, difference in temperature or temperature, whatever, it does not matter or temperature difference like TD. Uh, and then what do we need to do is basically take the temperature column, right? Take the temperature column and dot the and do the difference, right? Let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we have here. Right, so now you have the temperature difference. So this is basically what, 10 minus nothing, so it's null, 25 minus 10 is 15, 20 minus 25 is minus five, 30 minus 20 is 10. Similarly, we can create another column and try to see, okay, whether these dates are consecutive or not, because our question says higher temperatures compared to its previous dates, right? So the second column should be WS and let's call it date difference or days difference. Right, and do, okay, take the record date, you know, record date column, do a difference and then return it in number of days, right? So using the date time library. And now let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we have now here. So if you look at it now, the difference is like how many number of days between these two dates, one, right, one, one, and so on. So now once you have this, then the only thing remaining to do is to do a Boolean indexing where you need to firstly check, okay, your temperature difference is greater than zero, then only your temperature is more than the previous one, right? And secondly, the days difference is equal to one. Then only like we are able to do higher temperatures compared to its previous dates, right? So the first thing that we should do is, okay, the first thing is your temperature difference is greater than zero, right? Temperature difference is greater than zero. And second condition that needs to be checked is your days difference is equal to equal to one, right? Let me go ahead and run this. Let's see what do we get. So now you are left with only two rows which satisfies both of this condition that okay the temperature was higher 
the next day right and then we are not required to output everything we are only required to output the ids associated with those dates so we can just pass the id column right and let me go ahead and run this and let's see what do we have here now so now this is accepted our output is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit it to so passes all the test cases so yeah, this is accepted and this is how we do it so not a very difficult question all we had to do was you know firstly to make this solution generalized sorted by record date in ascending order and then we made two different columns basically to get the temperature difference between the dates as well as the number of days between the dates and made sure that since the question says that higher temperatures compared to its previous dates so we try to inculcate that in a mathematical formula and return the column that was required in our output so this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or a more efficient way you can think of to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video